Life is a gift and a journey. Towards what goal are you journeying? This gift of life, where do you want to spend it? With whom? For what? Whoever you are, wherever you are, God is inviting you to be His special messenger, to bring His word, His love, His joy, His peace to all peoples through the communications media. Most Holy Trinity, the sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the following. Special intentions of the harmonic singers, Kimpo family, engineer Mila de Dos Reyes, Richie Beltran, friends from the Department of Public Works and Highways, District Office, Davao City, the management of vocations, Mejila Construction, Unor Construction, Reggie Built Construction, Sunny Point, and for the intentions of all volunteers in this Holy Mass. Thanksgiving intentions for the blessings received of the Kimpo family, Vita Rivera's Bookkeeping Services, Rose Salvador, Editha Ingreso, Mary Frances Virano. Birthday intentions and thanksgiving of Ariel O. Impalmado, Yermia Gonzaga, and Earl Ed Palina. For the early recovery and complete healing of Mila Villa Abrilie, Elpidio Barcelona, Jermaine Chu. For the eternal repose of Emilio Candor, Philomena Dazur, fifth death anniversary of, Ru of Ruben Apostol Sr., Joselito, Evelyn, Jane, Sedin Pulo, Melchor, Vicente Castro Sr., Placida Castro, Fidel Yuri Castro, offered by Selma Alikaway, and the holy souls in purgatory, especially those who have no one to pray for them. The fourth Sunday of Easter is called Good Shepherd Sunday. In the Gospel, Jesus says that He protects the sheep the Father has given Him. He also gives the sheep, the disciple, eternal life. 
We also celebrate today the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. We pray to the Lord to send shepherds of souls who can lead us to Him and who, like Him, can give themselves for the good of the flock. To officiate our Holy Mass is Reverend Father Danny Montagna, Rogationist of the Heart of Jesus. This Holy Mass is brought to you in cooperation with the harmonic singers from a friend and friends from District Office of the Department of Public Works and Highways. Let us joyfully sing and celebrate. Please all rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. We welcome each other on the fourth Sunday of Easter, and we still say, The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Truly is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. We thank the Lord for the gift of this day. We have our Good Shepherd. He wanted to meet each one of us. He wanted to bring us to eternal life, and it's Jesus whom we proclaim today. And providentially as well, we celebrate the 50th day World Day of Prayer for Vocations. This day is given by the Church for us all Catholic to stay, to pray, as well as to remember the workers in the vineyard of the Lord. Let us ask the Lord for that grace. Pakibati po yung ng Happy Easter. Happy Easter. To our brothers and sisters at home who are sick and elderly, we are one with you. And I would like even to implore you, offer your pains and sufferings for more vocation. And so, brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the mercy of the Father. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
nor will the sun of any heat strike them. For the Lamb who is in the center of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to springs of life-giving water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. shepherd says the Lord I know my sheep and mine know me The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Still like the first Christian community, we continue our greeting and we say, The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Truly, He is risen. risen. Last time I taught you the greetings of the Knights of the Altar of Digos as they say, Happy Easter, and they say, Alleluia. Sing so, Happy Easter. Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy Easter. So it's never too late to say uh, Happy Easter, for after these days I'm still greeting Happy Easter. So, Father, late ka naman. It's like Easter continues. Because when there is the risen Lord, that's Easter. And so we welcome each other today on the fourth Sunday of Easter, known as the Good Shepherd Sunday. And in the church, we celebrate as well a beautiful celebration worldwide, the so-called World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Established 1964, this is the 50th World Day of Prayer for Vocations, where the church, all Catholics, are enjoyed to pray for more vocations, especially to the consecrated and priestly life. Are you praying for more vocations? Yes. Do you want to become priests and nuns? Yes. Wala, no? Hanggang prayer lang, but you don't want to become. So today, we join our brothers and sisters as well. Our hearts are those who are at home, the elderly and those who are sick. We are one with you, and we enjoin you as well to pray for more vocations. Fourth Sunday of Easter, what is it for us? Alam nyo, when I arrived in Rome, 1991, for my specialization, when I went to the Pauline Libreria, the first statue that struck me was the statue of Jesus carrying the sheep. So we were new then, with all our enthusiasm, and we said, we want to become good shepherds as well. So that was the statue that we first bought, and we put it in front of our table, and constantly we try to behold it. I was thinking myself, 1991, 2013, how many years ago? Hindi kayo marunong sa math. So I go, parang napakahaba. Then I ask myself, Father Danny, can you rate yourself in terms of your identification with the Good Shepherd, 1 to 10, and what is your score? I could not still answer. Perhaps I'm still too far from the Good Shepherd. But that statue was always in my mind, is always in my mind, to follow Jesus as the Good Shepherd. Today, for this fourth Sunday, I have three double words for you, three pairs of words that I would like to share as my reflection. 
The first pair of word is none other than the shepherd and the sheep. Pwede niyong dagdagan, good shepherd and good sheep. Pwede niyong dagdagan, leaders and followers. Pwede niyo pa rin dagdagan, good leaders and followers. But the first word are shepherd and sheep. Can you do it? Yes, last night I was reading a book, a commentary, and it was beautiful. It was about the doctors who were about to be assigned in a far-flung area. The director told them that area is very dangerous. Many had been killed. Many had suffered terribly. I don't know if you are ready to do and to go. But he said, I will not force you. I will ask only for volunteers. Then he said, who will volunteer? You know what he, the, the commenter was saying? The Christian doctors started bowing their heads. Nobody had a voice and say, I will go. But then at the last, there was a young doctor at the age of 28. He is, or he was an atheist. He stood up and said, I will go. I am willing to give myself even if I will die. That commentary continues, he heard the voice of Jesus inviting him. Quite a paradox, perhaps, an atheist, but more than willing to offer his life. Are you Christians or atheists? Are you willing to follow Jesus and give your life? Ah, so talo kayo. So nice, because today we say shepherd, good shepherd. And this is his Sunday. We recognize Jesus who gave us the best in life, perhaps. What is that best in life? He offered himself. He died for the sake of us all. He is always ahead of us and give us the way. That's the good shepherd. You can define him in many words. You can define him in many adjectives. But perhaps, and not perhaps, the most beautiful description is none other than a shepherd who is more than willing to lay his life for the sake of his sheep. More than willing to go into perils and where there are dangers for the sake of his sheep. But more wonderfully, this is a shepherd who wants to give eternal life. You look at it, huh? He offered himself. He died for the sake of us so that we may have life eternal. And who are the sheep? The sheep, as the gospel would say, these are those who know him, who follow him. These are those who hear his voice. At the same time, or at the end of the day, they're also more than willing to give, them li to give their lives for the sake of others. So do you know the Good Shepherd? Yes, perhaps. Do you know the Psalm of the Good Shepherd? What Psalm is that? Sige nga. Psalm 23. Very good, you know it. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Truly, this is a shepherd who gave us everything. But the question is, do, are we really his true followers? Are we the real sheep of this good shepherd? Now, tanong, do you hear his voice? Oh, you don't hear his voice. Do you follow him? Oh, you don't follow him. Oh, you see? Wala. Are you willing to give your life? Oh, lalo mo wala. So where are you? Ang hirap, no? But this is Jesus, our good shepherd. And this Sunday, we celebrate this being good shepherd for us. We hope, and I would feel, we are his sheep. And as his sheep, let us know, follow him, and eventually even give our life for the sake of him. To where the others would not go, let us be there in order to proclaim the word of God. But you see, I accentuated one thing. The good shepherd gives us eternal life. Do you want to have eternal life? Mukhang mahina yung sagot nyo. Do you want to have eternal life? Yes. Mapakisabi nga, Jesus, I want to be with you. Jesus, I want to be with you. Lord, pwede mo na akong kunin. Ah, you see, you don't want to be with him. Kaya nga, di ba, ang second reading, ang ganda sa'yo, this is the price of those who follow him. The price of those who hear the voice of God. There is eternal life. That's why that vision of men and women who are in white. Oh, you see, you are in white. Kanina, when I look at you, when the second reading was read, I was saying, wow, this is it, the kingdom of heaven, in white, adoring the majesty of God. Heaven is for those who are hearing the word of God. But not only hearing, 
The first thing would say, that's also a price for those who are more than willing to undergo persecution for the sake of the word. You see, when you hear the word of God, when you follow him, you are not exempted from persecution. Did you experience persecutions? Yes. Did you experience pain? Yes. Did you experience suffering? Is your husband your suffering? Yes. So you see, ang lakas ng ad. Are your parents your suffering? Oh, yes. <laughs> Siguro kasama, no? Kasama. But you see, this is it. Our following of Christ would mean even experiencing all those things for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, shepherd and sheep. Pangalawa, in the beautiful context of the celebration of the day, the 50th World Day of Prayer for Vocations, I put the two key words, vocations and prayer. The theme of today is very beautiful. Vocations are signs of hope founded in faith, in the year of faith. The Holy Father would like to say, yes, truly, vocations are gifts of God. But we have to pray as well. St. Hannibal puts it very beautifully, vocations would not come from above unless you pray for vocations. In short, today, we are all enjoined to pray for more laborers in the vineyard of the Lord, to pray for more vocations, to pray for more priests, more sisters, and religious people who would be good in their own regard, you are all included in that. When you say vocations, that would mean good religious, good priests, and good Christians as well. Are you good or not? Today we have here our men and women from the DPWH. So, are you good or not? Ah, oh, lakas ng sagot ni tita. Oh, you see? Kasi oh, nga, pakisabi, we are good. Ay, oh, mukhang hindi kayo convinced. So, oh, pakilakas, we are good. Ay, kasama kayo dyan, ha? Kasama kayo. O, pakisabi nga sa kanan mo, you are good. You are good. O, sa kaliwa, pakisabi, sana magbago ka na sa opisina. <laughs> diba? Vocations and prayer. That's why we need the two things. We want to become holy in our regard. Then let us pray for that. You want to have more vocations, then pray for that. Sabi ko kanina, we pray for vocations, but you don't want to become as such. Sino yung mga single dyan? Ay, lahat kayo, dobo. <laughs> Ay, pag sila naman, sino gusto magpari? Wala na. Sino gusto magmadre? Wala na. Sasa, sila na lang, Father. Minsan, pag magulang sabihin mo, ay, tita, sana magpari yung anak mo. Ay, wag Father, sayang, guapo pa naman. Feeling sa amin ang pangit, no? Ako, feeling ko, guapo ako. <laughs> feeling, feeling mo, kamukha talaga ako ni Dieter Ocampo. No? <laughs> you see, vocations and prayer, so nice reality in our life. That's where the church established it with Pope Paul VI, 1964, until now, in joining all Christians to pray for more vocations. Today, we have the shortage of priests and religious, scarcity even. Many schools had been closed in Europe as well as in other places because no more religious and priests to run as well, to have their presence. We are still thankful in the Philippines, we have still. That's why we have to pray that that would flourish. Yung sana yung maganda, di ba? In one family, one vocation, one priest or one sister. Kaya? Knights of the altar? Mukhang ayaw nila, no? You see, mahira. But then, if not, simply pray. And so, our vocations and prayer. We need to pray. Pray for more priests. Pray for more religious. They are connected intimately. When you have no priest, there is no Eucharist. They are connected. So, do you love your priests? Are you supporting your priest? Inaaway nyo, hindi. Inaaway. <laughs> you see, ganun yung love, but inaaway nyo. Last, the thing is another than from the words of Jesus. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore. The vineyard of the Lord is vast. Vineyard and the good laborers. Today, the vineyard is large. The vineyard is great, but laborers are scarce. Laborers are very few. But the accent is another than from the shepherd, good shepherd, leaders to good leaders, then workers to good workers. So, it's for all of us, good parents, good sons and daughters, good professionals, wherever and whatever life you are in, good businessmen and women. The accent is in the good, following Jesus, who is our good shepherd. O kanina, tinanong kong sarili ko, I would like to ask you, are you good or not? One to ten, what's your score? Ready, go. <laughs> oh, it's hirap, no? Hirap. Hirap to be good and to become holy. 
Hirap to follow Jesus as our good shepherd. But thanks be to God, come what may, whatever had been our response, He was there for us because He loved us so much. Beautifully, I asked my Bible study group last time, sabi ko, can you really profess the Psalm 23 which says, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. And many said, Father, it is too hard. Isang ganda, di ba? We said, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You are contented, you are happy, you will not look for other things, but simply you have the good shepherd. Shepherd and sheep, vocations and prayer, vineyard and workers. Important is, you have the good shepherd and the good sheep. You have good vocations and you pray for good vocations. The vineyard is there, but you become good laborers. May you become good laborers in the vineyard of the Lord. Amen. We stand to profess our faith, and together we say, I believe in God, creator of heaven and He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven, is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Let us pray to our loving Father that we may listen to the voice of His Son, the Good Shepherd, who protects us and leads us to the pasture of life and plenty. Full of trust, we pray. Lord, be gracious to your people. Lord, be gracious to your people. Give the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, and religious and missionaries warm and caring hearts that they may prove to be true shepherds of your people. We pray. Lord, be gracious to your people. Bestow on our political and civil leaders the grace of wisdom, integrity, and genuine service that they may effectively lead your people by their word and example. We pray. Lord, be gracious to your people. Bless all parents, educators, spiritual directors, and those who exercise leadership among us that they may joyfully and perseveringly guide young people to the right path. We pray. Lord, be gracious to your people. Make the family a fertile seedbed for vocations, for priestly and consecrated life through the spirit of prayer, love, and service that reign among family members. We pray. Lord, be gracious to your people. In the coming elections, enlighten the people to choose candidates who, like the Lord Jesus, really care for the people and give their heart and strength that there may be peace, justice, and progress in our land, we pray. Lord, be gracious to your people. May God bless our requests at the beginning of this Holy Mass, we pray. Lord, be gracious to your people. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. Lord Jesus, your Son died and rose again, that he might give us eternal help. Help us to listen to his voice, that we make of our lives an acceptable offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice that you have for the praise and glory of His name, for we will the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, will be poured out for and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo George, Fernando, our bishops, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles, with Saint Hannibal and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We thank the Father for giving us Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who laid down his life for us, but the Good Shepherd who would lead us to eternal life as well. To the Father, we pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we are always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ, 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 Body of Christ. Body of Christ, 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 Body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle the eternal pastures, the sheep you have redeemed, 
by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayers of the sick. Father, your Son accepted our sufferings to teach us the virtue of patience and human illness. Hear the prayers we offer for our sick brothers and sisters. May all who suffer pain, illness, or disease realize that they are chosen to be saints, and that they are joined to Christ in his sufferings for the salvation of the world who lives and reigns within the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We have an encouraging book about overseas Filipino workers. It is a collection of true stories of 10 OFWs in Italy. The title is Blood, Sweat, and Cheers. Blood and sweat because of the hardships of work, of coping with foreign culture, and the pain of separation from loved ones. And tears because of their success in spite of these difficulties. When you ask these people how they made it all, all of them attribute their success and renewed energy to the training program they have all attended called Leadership and Social Entrepreneurship. This is a very encouraging gift to OFWs all over the world and their families. The price of this book is only 235 pesos. Thank you very much. As you stand, I would like to add that this Sunday could be a nice prelude to the May 13 elections. And so therefore, as you see the Good Shepherd, who lays, the, who lays down his life, who offered us the best, and more than willing to give us life eternal. So choose and pray for good leaders as well. So hopefully, ours would be a real discernment, and we pray for that. Saint Hannibal, our father, founder, would say, pray and discern for good leaders, that in return, truly, they would become good leaders to serve our needs. But do not forget, all of us are invited to be good. Amen. So from Sunday to day, as we go back to our offices and work and life tomorrow, let us experience and become holy apostles of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer in you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace of the reason, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.